Did he just say what I thought he said? <gasps> oh, <no. laughs> oh dear. Hi, I'm Jackie Manning. I'm a psychologist and I help people with their relationship issues. Today, I'm going to be watching Prime Video's newest rom-com, I Want You Back. I'm breaking down some scenes for you. Okay, let's get watching. Mm. These pancakes are bonkers. Mm. Mm. I've sold my steak. Okay, what is this? Like, are you trying to be the cutest, sweetest, nicest boyfriend in the world? Because you're really winning. Emma, I'm breaking up with you. Oh, dear. <laughs> Is everything okay? You seem upset. Yeah. No, everything's fine. Never trust the word fine. fine. I feel like whatever it is, you can just tell me. Uh, it's gonna be weird to go back to the party. You're crying. I want to break up with you. Yeah, a common issue for many people is not really knowing how their partner feels, despite how close they are. A healthier way for each of these two to break up would be firstly, give some context, set some time. Say to their partner, I've got something really important to talk to you about. Oh my God. So they're wanting to look at the socials. They're wanting Jesus, to look at the socials. Uh-oh. This is bad. Oh, and he wrote, I miss you, come back to bed. Yikes. It's so common to go straight to our ex's socials. It's something that is a niggling thought that often ticks around in people's minds. For grief, you need to heal. So I would be advising these guys, if I could talk to them directly, to give themselves some time. Just take a break, hide your ex. You don't have to cancel them out. There's options to just hide their feeds for a while. We know that we're supposed to be with Noah and Anne, hmm. but I'm not so sure that they're gonna realize it, not with these shiny new people around. What are we supposed to do? We have to break them up. <laughs> well, that's crazy. You can't do that. Oh, dear. Grief goes through stages. There's intense sadness. There's anger. There's denial. Like, how can this actually be happening? So if you're feeling some of those stages, that's actually a really normal thing to feel. So don't think you're going crazy. Don't think there's something wrong with you. It's a point in time. Right now, it hurts like hell, but you will get through this. And hmm? I think it's time. Yeah. It's time, yes. I think it's time for us to all have sex together. Yeah? I don't want to do this. And uh, I don't want to do anything with you ever again. <laughs> okay, so Logan clearly can't read a room. The idea of open relationships has become more and more common. I do talk to clients who, who consider this and you know, if you can make it work for you, then that's great. But I think as with any relationship issue, it's all about boundaries and what you feel comfortable to do or not to do. Well, you know what they say, you gotta get back on the horse. <laughs> Did he just say what I thought he said? I feel like you just said horse. Yeah. The expression is horse. Get back up on the horse. Yeah. Why would you fuck a horse? Oh my God, I can't believe he just said that. I think socializing is a great idea. I think jumping into new relationships straight away is not a good idea. I often counsel people not to do that because they haven't passed through their grief. But hey, this is a rom-com, let's do it. Let's, let's get on the, on the party wagon. Whoa, hey guys. whoa. Hey guys, what the hell's going on? I think she's sleeping with my boyfriend. No. Okay, no. okay, no, no. it's fine. Peter and I became friends after we both got dumped. We decided to help each other win you both back. Wow. It sounds crazy when she says it like it that. <laughs> it does sound crazy when she says it like that. Screw you, Peter. Oh dear, and he's lost her too. Yep, not surprising. Oh no, what else no, is gonna come? I'm he's not looking one, happy. One thing like that. Whoa, that hurt. I can understand why everyone's angry. Everyone, it, they felt blindsided but I guess that's a little bit ironic because that's what they did to their partners in the beginning. And I don't think that revelation was to make them experience that out of a sense of revenge or anything. They're feeling shock and they can perhaps relate a little bit more, have a bit more empathy to the way they shocked their own ex-partners way back at the beginning of the movie. You know, when you watch rom-coms, it can sometimes make you reflect on where you're at and you might be in a happy relationship. You might not. You might have just broken up with someone like these guys and really relate. But just take things day by day. That's all we can ever do. And hopefully the right kind of love will come your way again if that's what you're looking for. Hopefully you've picked up some handy relationship tips today. Watch I Want You Back on Prime Video. And happy Valentine's Day.